to the last video ever on my channel where I'm just gonna play Godzilla as my favorite kaiju. So I'm gonna start off as Godzilla and I'll go into playing as Angerus, then Gigan, Godzilla 2014, Biolante, Destroya, Mecha King Ghidorah, and Type 3 Kiryu. I'm going to play maybe, you know what, I'll do King of Kaiju as them. Otherwise, this would be way too long. So let's start off in King of Kaiju. And let's start off as Godzilla. I'm gonna do normal breath because I feel like it. I, I, I don't know why. So we start off fighting Batra. Let's go, bro. Oh, I'm also gonna play as Godzilla 1964. He's pr my second favorite of the Godzillas in this game. Batra's about to go down. This was easy. Batra's always one of the easiest fights. Oh my god, stop it. You jerk. There we go. Dead with the tail slap. And then the building covers the view. Of course that's what happens. Of course that is. And since Angerus is my favorite, I'm gonna do God of Destruction mode as Angerus. Okay, boy, let's go. Tail slaps are always effective. Okay, hang on. No. Crap. Brrr, dang it. Ow, piece of crap.
Okay, Hedora's dead. That one. Hedora's never actually been one of the ones that I liked. Most people like Hedora though, and I don't understand that. He's gross looking. He always reminded me of a turd. Like, the. <laughs> it's true. Hang on, hang on, I've got this. I need to... God, why is he just like... Get him out of the sky. Oh, he's already at half. I have Godzilla really upgraded though. Hang on, hang on, I'm gonna get him with an atomic breath. There you go, you're dead. That was the fastest one. So I'm probably gonna get Mothra cells. Mothra's always the fastest one. Okay, now it's Batra. That's literally the same thing, except it's cooler. It's edgier. Actually, I think Batra's faster. Okay, how, why do the flying kaiju make splashes in the water? Like their wings wouldn't make a circle flap whenever they were actually flying from them. So why does, why do they make a, why do they splash? <laughs> okay. Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, the, the ultimate showdown. Let's go, bro. Come on, baby. Blizz. Oh, hey, look, a person. That's mean. Okay. I'm not gonna lose to King Ghidorah.
Ow, oh, you piece of crap! Yeah, I have all of the kaiju. I'm gonna use my favorites, and one of my favorites is Godzilla 2014. Okay. Why is King Ghidorah taking me the longest time? He's always been easier for me, which, why is he suddenly hard? Okay, come on. No, no, no. You're dead now. There. See, I still got him. Yeah. My favorite is Angerus. Oh. oh. Wait, why is one of his eyes y red? I've never seen that before. Oh wait, never mind. Now it's not the first. No, I meant to do the. <sighs> okay. Oh wait, now I can do it. Oh, I didn't even hit him. Okay, he's already halfway down. This should be easy from now on. No, stop. I'm trying to do the backwards thing, but the controls. Okay, there. It didn't even hurt him. No, I didn't. Okay, when I try to do it, I can't do it. But whenever I don't want to do it, it just happens. Oh, hey, look, it's me on a building. Never mind, it's dead now. Okay, I think I'm having more trouble with Super Mecha Godzilla. Uh, no, I don't. But. If you like the videos, I will live stream more often. Okay. Come on, you're and you're dead. Super Mecha Godzilla is I I don't like him because I don't know. Oh, I just won because I got the cells. I don't like him because he's just Kiryu but less cool looking. I I know Kiryu came after, but I just like how Kiryu looks more. Okay, now Angerus. Well, this is gonna be easy. Ow. Yep. 
Yeet. Stop it! Oh, thanks, Ben. I didn't see that happen. And if you're wondering why I give you super late responses, it's because I get all of your messages later than you actually send them. Come on, get close. Dang it. The bite never works. And you're dead now. Anguirus is harder to use than Godzilla. I think that's because you just use Godzilla more often than any other kaiju whenever you play this. But even then, I like playing with Anguirus more than with Godzilla. Yeah, Anguirus is my favorite kaiju, if you didn't hear that before. I don't know what it is about him, I just like him. He's always, like, struck me as, like, a dog. And I like dogs, because dog, everybody likes dogs, unless you're a cat person. But I'm a dog person. Godzilla's face is like a cat. I just realized that. How have I just now realized that Godzilla looks like a cat? Do do do. Oh, okay. Oh, um, my brother's favorite kaiju is Gigan, and Gigan is also one of my favorite kaiju. So it's basically me versus my brother, but I already know I'm gonna win, because I always win against AI. I think I've lost once, and it was to, no, I've lost twice. One time it was to Godzilla 2014 when I was playing as Mothra. And then the second time was whenever I was playing as Mothra against Burning Godzilla. Oh no! Nip! I think that was the first time I've ever actually gotten to use Bite. Dang it, he roared just before I could do the thing. Oh crap. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the home button. Okay, thanks. Um This was meant to be my last video, but since you like it, I'll make more videos. Okay, you're mean. Oh, come on. 
Okay, I might die to Gigan. Yeah, I died to Gigan. Nice. <laughs> I hate how the music stops whenever you die to Gigan. I mean, whenever you die. So, because I lost his Angerus, I'm gonna go to the next person, which is going to be, let's, yeah, Biolante. Which is actually who I have a high score on with King of Kaiju mode. Because Biolante is strong, even though there's, it's slow. Ow. Stop it. What I completely forgot by Alente's controls. Oh, come on, how do I keep missing with that? I don't even remember Biolante's controls and I almost won without getting hit. I I don't know how many times I got hit. Gigan, I think, is overrated. I still like him, though. He's a cool design. It's like a cyborg chicken. <laughs> but since you like Jet Jaguar, I, I like Jet Jaguar, too. I'll play as Jet Jaguar. Oh, come on. It'd be nice if you would stop giving me the larva. That way I could actually do attacks. Biolante is so big that as when I'm just like walking around, uh, I'm destroying buildings. No, oh yeah, good point. What? <laughs> just like as soon as I killed Mothra, Biolante just like towered over Mothra. Oh, I like Biolante, even though she does really like nothing. Crap, not again. <laughs> even though she does like nothing in the movie besides like bite Godzilla, I still like her. Oh, come on, I missed that. How did an acid shower mi miss? That's like the biggest attack in the game besides like Biolante's this thing. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cyborg chicken. Okay, how did I miss two acid showers? Okay, Mechagodzilla 2 is dead. You have to add the two, otherwise people get angry. You can see, you can see one of my tentacles just like cover the screen while I'm fighting Batra. Ow, you little. Okay. You will not live to see the day uh, I win. I don't know. Because I'm gonna kill him and then I'll win, I guess. Wait, I don't even, wait, no, but this is the day that I do win. I'm confused. I'm confused with the thing that I just said. I confused myself. Ow. Okay, this one won't miss. Wait, that wasn't even acid shower, that was acid spray. Um, Travius Prime, do you have, um, many Godzilla movies? I have nine. I'm, I want to get more, but Amazon is overpriced to me. Because like, King of the Monsters on Amazon, like the subbed one, not even the dubbed one, is like $30. Oh, of, of course. Wait, is the Godzilla you play as in this game just the basic Godzilla? Bio Goji or the I can't even remember the name for the Space Godzilla one. Is he the Space Godzilla Godzilla? He looks like the right size for no. He looks too big for I mean to be the Biolante Godzilla. Because he's like as tall as Biolante. And in the movie he was really short. Ow. I think Godzilla might be the last one. I didn't even get to do my attack. Ow. Okay, die already. How, why, there. Is that it? Do I get cells now? Nope, cure you. In Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, which is the one that has Kiryu in it, they refer to Kiryu as Mechagodzilla and Kiryu. And every time I watch it, I get annoyed every time they call it Mechagodzilla because the same characters will also say Kiryu. So why don't they make up their minds?
Okay, Kiryu's dead. Oh. Um, what Godzilla movies do you have? Because I have Final Wars, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, Godzilla vs. Destroyer, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, The Return of Godzilla, Godzilla vs. The Sea Monster, Godzilla vs. Mothra, and King Kong vs. Godzilla. I also have three Gamera movies, but I don't watch them as much. Okay, now time to do Jet Jaguar. Crap. I forgot the controls for Jet Jaguar too. Yeet. Oh, come on. Normally you go over the Kaiju. Why'd you just like stop midway? You stopped again. Okay, wait, hang on, hang on. I have to do his controls again. So I can do a backflip. Oh yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. I remember now. Bye, Felicia. Ah, oh, I missed that, seriously? Okay. I might die for Jet Jaguar, and then I'll have to play as another Kaiju. Oh no, I meant to do a backflip! Okay, 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 I think I'm good, I think I'm good. Okay, now get the, f get, get out of there, get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Backflip onto him. Okay. Oh, ninja evasion skills. No, stop. You keep stopping midway through that attack. I've finished you an entire def de de defense mode as you. So I don't know why you keep stopping. I've played as you before. I wish they could have put, um, no, 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 I wish they could have put a Megalon in this. I think it would be fun to have Megalon in this. Like, Megalon's a cool kaiju, even though the movie kind of sucked. Oh, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, Jet Jaguar is like the master of evasion. Okay, I th I'm probably gonna beat Hedora. Yeah, no, Hedora's dead. Wait, does black, does back flipping into someone do damage? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Easy chance. And. Dang it. Okay, you're dead. No, what? Okay, 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 there. I karate chopped him. Nice. That could have went bad. Because I tried sliding and then he like 
blocked it or whatever. I don't know what he did. Is that Mecha Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla 2? I think it's Mecha Godzilla 2. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. I don't. I did it again. I don't know how to tell the difference. Are Jet Jaguar and Mecha Godzilla the same? Like their attacks? Like their basic square attacks? Uh, no, it's not. I thought it was. I actually liked 1998 Godzilla because it was the first Godzilla I ever saw. So it jump started me into the series. Okay. I I think most people don't like it because they just make Godzilla look different. But uh one day I was homesick in kindergarten. And there, that's what I like to see. I yeah, get over them whenever you do that attack. Okay, so I was homesick in kindergarten. I was, I think I was six. If I was six, I wouldn't be in kindergarten, would I? Would I? I don't even know. So, I went home with my grandpa. And I loved dinosaurs. So he was like, hey, I, I have Godzilla 1998 recorded. And he told me, oh, it's about a dinosaur that smashes cities. A giant dinosaur that smashes cities. And I was like, I'll probably love that. I watched the movie and I fell in love with the kaiju genre. So I've always had like, and until 2014, um, which Godzilla, which came out the day on May 16th, which is my birthday, it came out on my birthday, which was awesome, was the second Godzilla movie I ever saw. I then was like, hey, I like Godzilla. Can I have the old Godzilla movies? And... I then got King Kong vs. Godzilla and Mothra vs. Godzilla. And I liked them even though my family hated them because they were annoying to listen to. Because I had to always put them so loud. Because that's just how the DVDs were. But I think I got those last year. Yeah, I got those last year. And then Every time we go to like a bookstore or something for my brother, we, I always just have to go into like the movie section, like the DVD section and see if I can find Godzilla. It's, it's like a tradition. I hate whenever your temperature bar goes down before you do the actual attack. I wish you could do the attack and then your temperature went down. Because I always um, get, me no, that's not the one I was going for. I think I might die. Okay, okay, saved at the last minute. Wait, what was I gonna say? <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. I just remember all that I was saying was always. And my grandpa, I don't think he had seen the Godzilla 1998 movie because he said, oh yeah, it shoots laser breath, which I now know is atomic breath not laser breath but 
in in Godzilla 1998, he shot power breath, which was just like a flammable breath. And I was like, where's the where's the laser breath, Grandpa? Stop doing that. Where's the laser breath, Grandpa? This is false advertising. Okay. Why is this so hard? Why is J Jaguar... Okay, hang on, I'm in a doozy. I'm in a doozy. Oh God, oh no, oh no. Up. Oh, I just died. <laughs> so, that means I'm gonna have to change Kaiju. So, I think I'm gonna do Destroya now? No, let's do Mecha King Ghidorah. It was... Yeah, Mecha King Ghidorah. I've always liked Mecha King Ghidorah better than King Ghidorah. I like the giant claw that comes out. The claw. I don't like how King Ghidorah, like King Ghidorah and Mecha King Ghidorah, also Destroya. King Ghidorah, Mecha King Ghidorah, and Destroya cover like the entire screen when you're facing like this. Rodan isn't as bad, which I thought was surprise, which was surprising to me whenever I got Rodan, because I was expecting it to be like King Ghidorah, which I had at that time, but no, it wasn't. Dang it, I missed. Okay, got him again. And boom. Oh, hey, my ferret. Hello. Penelope. Not again! I keep doing that. Okay, Hedora's dead. Du -du -du. I did best with Godzilla. I think it's because I have Godzilla really leveled up. And I have the trophy, our hero, Jet Jaguar, because I did it again. Because I I remember getting the trophy, like on this PlayStation and everything. Wait, hang on, is there a, oh yeah, flight, okay. Because I got Godzilla to handshake him, but it says that I don't have the trophy, even though it should be my best trophy. But no, my best trophy is the Godzilla breath one. Oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. My best trophy is the Godzilla breath one. Even though I have our hero jet Jaguar, I went out of my way to get that trophy even after I got jet Jaguar, just because I felt like it. I wanted to see the handshake. I think that's why. And you're dead. Oh, what? Now you're dead. I got my ferret. Say hello, ferret. 
Say hello. Oh, I forgot you couldn't talk. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, I thought Angerus. I. Yeah, I just lost to Angerus as Jet Jaguar. Oh, this is in the same map where I lost to Gigan, so. Wait. I've lost to two of my favorites now. I've. Yeah. I've lost to two of my favorites Angerus and Gigan. Which is weird because you'd think I know how to play with them and how to get around with them. Ow, ow. My ferret's messing with my Godzilla collection. Ow. Stop using that attack. Oh. You better not do it again. Okay. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. No, stop it. God, it's annoying. He's not actually attacking. He's just doing the stupid back thing he did in Godzilla vs. Gigan. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nope, nope, stop. I won't lose to you again. I can't lose to the same kaiju twice. That's just like embarrassing. It's embarrassing to even lose, to be honest. Got him. Do, do, do. Wait, both of my ferrets are in my room. We have Benny and we have Dash. Her nickname is Dash. I did it. I'm just gonna stop acknowledging that I do that because it's Annoying. Okay. Batcher's too fast. He's too fast. I cannot let Batra anywhere near me. Like, if he gets close to me, my only shot at getting out of, like, a combo is my... R2. Ow. Okay. I saved up my temperature for that. I have to keep pressing triangle to get him away from me. Uh, I missed. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay. I'm actually doing better against Batra than I thought I would. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. No, stop. <sighs> I'm fine with not getting hit. I don't even care if the thing didn't do damage. I just don't want to get hit. Okay, okay, okay. That should push him. And then we do this. The stronger one that hit him once. Okay, let's try to do the push thing again. Nope, missed. I thought my neck was longer than that. Up, got him. I'm really looking forward to Godzilla King of the Monsters, by the way. 
It's been five years, and they're just now doing the sequel. Okay, I will. Uh, I get Monday off, I don't even know why. So I guess I'm lucky. Good. I don't even know if I have a another Godzilla movie on the chan a Godzilla movie. Godzilla video on the channel. I think I deleted my last one because it was way too short. I like having long videos because you keep it keeps you entertained for long periods of time. Even though I don't know who would get entertainment out of this besides other Godzilla fans. I feel like Space Godzilla's only attacks are just crystals. That like one area crystal move is like his only attack. you're dead oh nice yeah cool I'm taller than him why would I be taller than it that doesn't make sense I like I um uh I disagree with everybody hating on Godzilla 2014. Sure, they showed a little amount of Godzilla, but that just adds to the suspense whenever you do actually get to see him. Because you get to see so little of him to the point where when you see him, you're in awe instead of like some other Godzilla movies where they just like throw him in, in your face to like make sure you know this is a Godzilla movie. Like, oh look, it's Godzilla. Everybody watch this. It has so much Godzilla. And then everybody loves those movies just because how much kaiju it has. But it sort of ruins the suspense every time they're on stage because you're like, oh, they're back, they're gonna, they're gonna fight again? Cool, we've already seen that for like 30 minutes. My ferret here playing. Okay, that was the end of it. I got Jet Jaguar's circuit boards. <laughs> My ferrets are like tackling each other. Okay. Next one is... Destroya which I only got last night, actually. Destroya and Kiryu, I got last night. Which was supposed to be my original Godzilla-thon video, but then it got, like, cut short because <laughs> my router got unplugged. So I lost connection and had to redo the video. And even then, it was just me playing Godzilla. I mean, playing God of Destruction mode as Godzilla. Which, to be fair, is kind of boring. I went the hard route, though. I didn't even get to the final Burning Godzilla mission. Because... I didn't get enough fury.
Wait, is Mothra too short to get hit with my R2 attack? I think Mothra is too short to get hit with my R2 attack. He's too short. I mean, she. She's too short to get hit with it. He, she's too short to even get hit with my square attack. Unless it's the final one and I'm trying. Why did I just press R2? Oh, now I'm on her. Look. <laughs> I'm like dancing on it. Oh, imagine if I- No, I pressed R2 again! I got- I hit it once. I might actually die to Mothra. Wait. Don't actually make me die to Mothra. Okay, there we go. It's good. Never mind. I thought I was actually about to die to the first kaiju. Stomp on her. My ferrets are playing with the. My ferrets are playing with the box. Yee. Okay. Who's the next guy? Okay, I'm actually kind of annoyed at this point of how many times you have to fight Batra. Just like. If you're ever gonna play the game, you're going to fight Batra. Like, every time you play it. Like, if you play it and you go easy route on Godzilla, or if you do King of Kaiju mode, or you invade, or you defend, you will fight Batra. It's annoying because he's a cool Kaiju, but he's like, he's used as like a pawn in the game. Godzilla vs. Destroya might be my favorite um, Toho Godzilla movie. I think my favorite Godzilla movie would be 2014. It's probably gonna be King of the Monsters because I, I really wanna see Rodan. Rodan is one of my favorites, but it's not one of my favorites enough to be on this video. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see Rodan and Ghidorah go head to head. And I want like a tag team mission with like Godzilla being at the ground, shooting his atomic breath like up in the sky like how it, th it was in the trailer. While, oh don't, don't make me die to Batra. No, I'm not gonna die to Batra. While like, oh I did die to Batra, cool. While like Rodan and Mothra go up and like, Mothra definitely has to go to like the back. She's super fragile. I don't like how skinny they made Mothra's body though. Okay, and then Kiryu. Kiryu has so many s circle attacks. Okay. Since when has Adora ever ran away? Rockets. Rockets are probably my favorite circle attack, even though they do like the least damage. They're just like fast to come out. Ow. Okay, okay, we get it. <laughs> Come, 
Ow. Okay, let's get, there we go. I think uh, Kiryu's Roar B is probably like the strongest Roar B out of any of them. What's even the point of Kiryu, like, what's the point of Kiryu doing that jump attack? Like, it's just useless and annoying because it wastes time. And then you try to do, like, an actual attack, but then you just, you try to do, like, a forward or a backwards, but then you just jump and get knocked into the air. I mean, knocked out of the air. And there's Batra again, just like how I was talking about. Okay, come on. Back up! Oh, I can't even back up anymore. Oh wait, no, I, I lied when I said that Kiryu's Roar B was the strongest. I meant that Burning Godzilla's Roar B was the strongest. I just realized that. I've actually never tested it out, but Godzilla with Vapor Breath might be strong. Oh crap. Godzilla with Vapor Breath might be stronger than Burning Godzilla. I don't actually know. But I don't know how to, how to tell. I think I guess I just like do the Roar B, I mean Roar Circle. Sorry, it's not Xbox. I guess I do the war Roar Circle against like Batra or something, take a picture of it and then, God, and then do it with the Burning Godzilla. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, I love whenever I knock something out of the air because it's like, it's longer than a normal, a normal stun. At least I think anyway. And it puts them on the ground and they can't do an attack for a while after that. But you can just like keep hitting them and then they'll stay on the ground for a little bit. Ow. Again, like Kiryu and Super Mecha Godzilla, they're like immune to that because they have like the jetpack things. But with Rodan and like King Ghidorah and Space Godzilla, it's like the best thing. Oh, don't forget Mothra whenever she's trying to do a good... Oh, I just figured out the use for, um... Uh, the jump. Uh, if you saw me jump over Rodan's circle. Uh, uh, no, get out of the air, get out of the air. Okay, good boy. <laughs> ah, dang it. knocked out of the air with the missiles. I was like a targeted Sam turret. Targeted Sam turret.
Okay. Kiryu versus Mecha Godzilla. Did I already play as Kiryu? No, I didn't already play. I played as Jet Jaguar. Yeah. I was like. I was like, wait, didn't I already use a giant robot against Mecha Godzilla? And then I was like, oh yeah, it was Jet Jaguar. Oh, come on. You jerk. Oh no, that hurts so much. Ah, oh, dang it, I almost got away from that. And why didn't you move to the side when you saw that I was roaring? That's like the only reason I, oh wait, hang on, can I get him with a roar triangle? Yes. Favorite Kiryu attack because it's faster I, I think it's stronger than it's regular. It, it's definitely stronger than the R2. And, oh, come on, really? Because it's, it does more damage than the circle, I think. Okay, there, go. <laughs> You're too fat to get under the door. Um, my ferret Dash can get under, can like crawl under doors. Uh, my ferret Benny, with time, can crawl through one way, but can't crawl out the other. Oh. No, get out of the sky. Come on. I, I could have done a knockdown thing. So Super Smash Brothers, they put Ridley in the game, even though Ridley was like huge, and nobody thought that they would put Ridley in the game because how big she was. Ridley's a girl, right? I'm pretty sure it is. So what I'm thinking is that they should put, like they put in Joker, so people know Nintendo is willing to put in people who aren't Nintendo. And Nintendo's done Godzilla games before though. So what I would actually like is if they put like some Godzilla related thing, like it could even just be like a guy in a Godzilla suit, just to show like homage to how they did the Godzilla movies. Well, some of the Godzilla movies. You're dead. Oh, okay, the people I were just talking, I was just talking about together, Kiryu and Super Mecha Godzilla are going against each other. Cool. I, I mean, obviously Kiryu's gonna win. Like, he's just better in the game over overall. Like, I like him better in the movies and in the game because he's stronger in the game. But I can just have like a point to say how he's clear, uh, clearly better because he's easily gonna win against Super Mecha Godzilla. And also, a fact, most Godzilla fans is to, uh, I mean, something I believe 
that most Godzilla fans can agree with is that the Godzilla anime wasn't that good. Like, it was weird. It was, there were so many different things. I watched the first episode just so I could see Godzilla Earth because I heard how huge he was. And then, like, I, I only liked the parts where they were fighting Godzilla. I'm, I'm not actually a big fan of anime, but I was willing to watch a Godzilla anime just because it was Godzilla. But on the second episode, it was just horrible. I watched the entire thing through. I think I, like, halfway fell asleep at the end of it. I was just, like... It was just bad. <laughs> they did nothing the entire episode. Except for like, talk about a couple things. Like, they introduced like, the natives of, not the natives, the people who came into Earth after like, it was abandoned. And that was boring. For me, anyway. They just talked for so long in that one episode. They did nothing about any kaiju. No nothing kaiju-related happened, like, the entire episode. Besides, like, talking about Mechagodzilla. But even then, they did nothing with Mechagodzilla. I didn't even bother watching the third episode. I knew I wasn't gonna watch the third episode, and then I saw Ghidorah. I saw Ghidorah through like, um, a social media group that I was in. Uh, it was the Godzilla fan club. And I was, I saw Ghidorah, and I was like, what is, what is this? I questioned it so much. Like, he was like a good, he was like a god? A Ghidorah god. And then... He came out of, like, black holes, and then when it was over, he went... Like, Godzilla couldn't attack him, because he was, like, a spirit or something? I don't even understand. They didn't even really explain it that good. So, he was, like, summoned by a cult or something, from what I gathered. So, whenever he came, like, Godzilla couldn't do crap about it, but King Ghidorah could bite him. And the entire fight scene was boring. It, it felt to me like what they did with Kaiser Ghidorah all over again. Except worse, because it, <laughs> because it was just weird. I mean, I don't like Godzilla Earth. Like... First off, the Japanese complained about Godzilla 2014 about being fat. He is clearly not fat, first of all. And second of all, I watched the Godzilla anime, like the first one, and they completely took Godzilla 2014's design, made him a broader, and then just, like, enlarged him by, like, five times. So Toho like complained about Godzilla and then they were like, hey, this looks good enough to make an entire three part movie about after just previously complaining about it. Which I thought was super weird. Like if you look at Godzilla Earth, he looks very similar to Godzilla 2014. Like questioningly similar to the point where I even pointed it out in the Godzilla fan group on social media I was like hey guys does anybody else notice how Godzilla Earth looks like Godzilla 2014 everybody was like no he doesn't it's like 
And then it, it was clearly just like an attempt to make a big Godzilla. Like it wasn't an attempt at making a good Godzilla movie. It was an attempt at making a big Godzilla. Because like, if they wanted a good Godzilla movie, um, they shouldn't have made it cartoon. Like, I know anime is a big thing in America and Japan, so they wanted to go after something that was popular, but they could have done it better. Okay, so let's kill Jet Jaguar. Okay, Jet Jaguar is dead. That was um a long rant. I think that lasted like 10 minutes maybe. Just me talking about how I didn't like the anime, which most people didn't like. Oh, but um, the weird thing, I think, so Toho knew that we were making a King of the Monsters movie. Everybody knew that we were gonna make a sequel to to Godzilla 2014 as soon as we made it. I mean, it was huge. It literally, because it's Godzilla. So, like, everybody knew Godzilla King of the Monsters would come out eventually. I mean, five years is a little too long, but still. I mean, yeah, sure, keep us waiting. I mean, that's a good thing. Like, it'll make people want to watch it more because they haven't had it in so long. Which I think is why um, The Return of Godzilla was really good. But, I think Toho, when making Shin Godzilla, which was, as you know, taller than Godzilla 2014, I think they specifically, they were like, hey, when they make the sequel to Godzilla 2014, they're probably gonna make Godzilla taller, which, I, I'm pretty sure the King of the Monsters Godzilla, I don't know about it, but, He's probably taller. I It happened again. Wait. I've had so many moves I was not using. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. We get it. But I think... So there was that one. And then... Oh. But I think Toho was like, hey, Godzilla 2014 is the biggest Godzilla so far, right? Let's not, I'm not having any of that. And they knew that they were gonna, it happened again. They knew they were probably gonna make it taller in King of the Monsters. So they were like, we don't wanna have two variations of Godzilla made from America that are bigger than all of our Japanese Godzillas, right? So they made Shin Godzilla, and then they realized the sequel thing. So then they made Godzilla Earth just to make him the biggest Godzilla there was. Which, I don't even know why anyone would want to go after biggest Godzilla anymore. I mean, it... Godzilla Earth is just like too big. Okay, Biolante, come on, boy. And that brings me into the Shin Godzilla rant. I don't like Shin Godzilla that much. I mean, I like the design. I mean, I don't like the design that much, but I, it's it's still memorable. It's a memorable design that I have action figures of, like, not action figures. I have the Nika Shin Godzilla with the mouth open and Shin Godzilla, and my dog <laughs> ripped the leg, uh, I mean, ripped the foot off the normal Shin Godzilla, which, it, it's, I don't even bother with it, 
She didn't mean to. She just knocked it over and then the foot fell off because the foot fell off before and I had to put it back on. But, Nika, what is with you and making the tail so easy to come off yet so hard to put on? Like, you must be doing this on purpose. Like, it's so annoying. I personally like Nika better than any other things. Which is why I only have Nika. I got the Nika figures of Godzilla. I mean, from versus Space Guy. Okay, I died in 2014. I got the Nika figures of Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. Shin Godzilla with the mouth open and Shin Godzilla. So, I, this is basically a podcast with gameplay in the background now. So, I was very eager to open my Godzilla things that I got for Christmas. I opened up Shin Godzilla. It was a nightmare. Uh, it was horrible. I had to get my mom's boyfriend to put the tail on because I couldn't do it. Like, I... I looked it up it said like what put it in hot water put soap on it i did that it just made it slippery so then i had to dry it off and then do it again i had to dry it off and then get my mom's boyfriend to do it which was annoying because i had to give him like a dollar <laughs> Godzilla 1964 is so weak. Does the 1964 Godzilla have the backwards thing? Yes, it does. Okay. And it has the turnaround. Why didn't I just... So does it have the tail smack? That's not the... No, I meant to do the backwards thing. Uh, now I'm gonna probably die in the first round. So then I got Shin God the mouth open Shin Godzilla, and I was expecting the same, which I was right with. It was torture. I had to do the this time I didn't do soap because I knew that was the main one in the slipperiness. But then the hot water helped it a little bit. I think the soap kind of ruined it. Whoever mentioned the soap, um, you're mean. <laughs> it didn't help. So I got the the tail on using my mom's boyfriend and then I got the Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla one out which I was looking forward to the most actually I opened it up the tail was smaller which I immediately knew was gonna make it easier I did the hot water thing I still couldn't do it myself but my mom's boyfriend was able to do it and then he told me that this one in fact was easier to put on. So if you're looking for a Nika figure and you don't care like um, which one it is, you just want like the easy to uh, put on one, you just want like easiness, I would definitely recommend um, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and the Godzilla vs. Destroya because I know the Godzilla vs. Destroya is just Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla but with red for burning Godzilla. So if anybody wondered about that, that's just my opinion. Okay, so back onto the Shin Godzilla. So Shin Godzilla doesn't follow the normal like atomic bomb thing, like how the 1998 one didn't follow that. But 1998 stuck with like the atomic bomb thing it, it just wasn't like an ancient animal that woke up from the atomic bomb 
it Shin Godzilla completely forgets like completely like unacknowledges the rest of the series which is what they tried to do he's like a toxic waste monster which makes him like deformed and ugly I mean he's cool looking but you have to admit that he's ugly Oh, I just realized that the 1964 Godzilla is actually the Godzilla for Godzilla vs. Mothra, so this is kind of accurate. The Mothra adult, though, is from GMK. I did it again. It's from GMK, so I don't know why they did the 1964 larva, but then the GMK Mothra. It doesn't make sense. So... If I remember right from what other people have said, I don't have Shin Godzilla, so I haven't watched it. I tried going on a, one of those websites just to try like finding it and I just got a bunch of scam ads. I didn't even get to watch the movie. Ow, you jerk. So, but what I've heard, the Japanese girl wants to be the American president, which if you know how America works, doesn't make sense. Because you have to be an American citizen by birth to be an American president. So, why does she even try? So I think that's it for my rants. What? So, let's just start playing. Okay, so Rodan is it's easy for me, I guess. This has been going on for an hour and 30 minutes. So, hang on, I have to go for a second, just a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that break. Okay, so we gotta get Rodan to die. Oh god. I'm gonna have to change the description of this video. I don't even know if I can. But the Godzilla 1964 breath is so weak when in the movies, it's able to melt steel. <laughs> like, Godzilla in King Kong vs. Godzilla literally melts, I think it was a maser. Th they don't refer to it as a maser, but it, it's just a lightning thing. Literally melts it with his atomic breath, but 
in this game it does nothing. Like, did you see that? That would have been like a finishing move for any other Godzilla. But I, I like how the 1964 Godzilla looks though. Okay, there's Batra again. Like either one of the Batras. Normally it's Batra Larva. Have I? I think I've already fought Batra as 1964. I don't remember though. Oh, I just realized. I think maybe why they made the 1964 Godzilla's uh, melee attacks. I think his melee attacks are actually a little bit stronger than normal Godzilla's melee attacks. But his, but his atomic breath is weaker. I think this is because in the early Godzilla movies, which this is, the Showa era Godzilla, he mostly did physical combat compared to atomic breath, considering they had a very low budget in a lot of the movies. So they couldn't rely on special effects a lot of the time with like the breath because it would either look terrible or it would cost too much. Normally it would cost too much. So I, so most of the time they ended out just like giving each other a hug in most of the movies. Like in King Kong versus Godzilla, they literally hug each other and fall into the ocean. Ow. So, I think, and I just died, okay. Time to, wait, hang on, which, what other kaiju was I gonna play as? So I think that's why in 1964, Godzilla does more damage, like, with hitting. Um, I think I'll actually do, I, let's do Burning Godzilla just so we can have all the, frick, just so we can have all of the Godzillas in the, in this video, because it is called Godzilla-thon. We might as well have Burning Godzilla. Okay, we're starting off with Mecha Godzilla. I hope that I get to fight Destroya as Burning Godzilla because in God Godzilla, Burning Godzilla, God, was in Godzilla vs. Destroya, which I actually watched this morning for St. Patrick's Day, because I was at my grandma and grandpa's house, and holy crap, no, Burning Godzilla definitely does way more than Kiryu. And I brought my Godzilla movies over because I wanted to watch some and because they used to watch Godzilla movies. So I was like, hey, why not? I ended up watching Go Godzilla vs. Destroya and King Kong vs. Godzilla. So, I've watched King Kong vs. Godzilla. I, Godzilla vs. Destroya is my favorite Toho one. I think I've already mentioned that one, that already. But I watched the movie and with, and it was better than I actually remember it being. I think the last time I watched it was maybe a month ago because I watched others too. And I had a big phase with liking Gamera more than Godzilla for a while though too. So, because I got Gamera the Invincible, which is the American version of the first one. And it was really good. It's my It was my first black and white kaiju movie. And I loved it. How did that only hit her once? So I decided, and I haven't, hadn't have watched, ah, uh, and I have two of the Heisei Gamera movies, so I was like, these Gamera movies are good. Like, I like the Showa and Heisei versions of Gamera. I might as well start watching Gamera. And I went through like a month where I liked Gamera better than Godzilla. 
I think I watched the Godzilla 1998 one just for nostalgia. And there's Gigan. I actually wish they had the either Godzilla 2000 or Final Wars Godzilla. Final Wars was kind of cheesy to me, actually. I mean, not kind of cheesy, it was very cheesy. I mean, if you want to see a lot of kaiju, yeah, watch it. But movie terms, I don't think it was that good. Everybody else loves it, and I'm probably not going to... It's probably... That one comment's probably going to be... Enough hate for one video. Oh, also the 1998 comment. I only like 1998 because it was the first one I ever watched. So, I, if it wasn't the first one I ever watched, then I ended up watching like one of the actual Godzilla movies first. I probably would hate the 1998 one. And this was designed to be like an extra long video, like longer than normal. So if you're wondering why we're already at an hour and a half, that's why. And I'm all right, and I'm also gonna do God of Destruction mode with Angerus, because if you've watched the beginning, you know that he's my favorite. Because Angerus was the second Kaiju I played King of Kaiju with. So, if you're here not for the rants and you're here just for the gameplay, uh, wait along a little bit. Wait a little bit longer until I finish with Burning Godzilla, and then we'll have some, like, mostly gameplay. Because I just wanted to have a few rants in there because a lot of people seem to like rants. Because I, like, I have a different opinion on Godzilla than most other Godzilla fans. Like, most Godzilla fans are like, they think of him as, crap, as like the best thing ever. And like, the best thing that can ever be. He's just like so good that like every one of his movies besides the American ones are amazing no matter which ones. But I'm not behind that like way of liking Godzilla movies. I know that some of them are bad. Most people are like, oh, it's a Toho Godzilla movie. It must be good. Oh, it's Final Wars. It has more kaiju than Destroy All Monsters did. Holy crap, it's amazing. I'm... I think, like... Again, I might be wrong on this. Most people... I mean, a lot of people might like Final Wars not just because of how many kaiju it had, but in a movie sense. But I didn't like it in a movie sense. So... I think of Godzilla as just like a movie star. Like some movies are better than others. I think of him like an actor. Like if he has a bad movie, like it's a bad movie. You can't just like it just because it's an actor, which is how a lot of people do. Because like, Like, Forrest Gump was a good movie, and it had Tom Hanks in it, which is a good actor. And then, there's other, for, there's other Tom Hanks movies that are bad, but a lot of people like them because it's Tom Hanks. I'm pretty sure. That's what it's like with Godzilla for most fans. 
But like Godzilla versus the sea monster, Godzilla looks weirder than that, which a lot of people seem to agree on. And the fights are pretty bland, but I actually like Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster because it's it's sort of like the so bad it's good type of movies. While in Final Wars, they actually like tried like to make a good 50th anniversary for Godzilla, which kind of to me takes me out of the so bad it's good element because of just how cheesy and annoying um, X was. He just like made me cringe the entire time. He whined like a baby. Okay, so now, did I, I got a trophy for that, didn't I? Come on, give me the trophy. It was all oh, my new records with Burning Godzilla instead of Violent. There, finished in eight. I didn't get finished in six because I got like four seconds. Oh crap, why did he even? Okay. So now God of Destruction mode with Angerus. And that should finish up the. Finish up. Actually. Let's do Godzilla 2014. I've. I feel like most people like Godzilla 2014 over Angerus. Plus, he's huge. Like he's taller than. Like he's huge. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do with him. Do it with him. Like look at his size. He has to be besides Burning Godzilla the strongest Godzilla in the. He has to be the second strongest Godzilla in this game. Like, he's just huge, he does more damage. Oh, and Godzilla 2014's roar has to be my favorite Godzilla roar of all time. It's just like so loud and s scary that it makes you realize that he's a huge beast that can literally end the world. Like they mentioned that in like a lot of other Godzilla movies, how he's like a huge monster that can destroy the world. But he's so weak. Like, it, <laughs> he looks like a toy, but he's kind of weak to, oh crap, I just realized I was still ranting when it, when I said that I wouldn't do it anymore. Oh, he's too tiny for me to grab. He's so weak that you don't really view him as a, as a thing that can destroy the world. But Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla King of the Monsters, like, he's so big that you literally think that he can. Like, he's strong, he's huge, and he's capable of killing, like, very strong monsters like the Mutos. And you might say the Mutos were weak, but Godzilla 2014 is... Oh yeah, I have to do that stuff. Godzilla 2014 is probably the strongest variant of Godzilla in movies. And to think that he fell into a coma after fighting them because they were so hard to fight is just like, and then saying the Mutos were weak is just, to me it's stupid. Actually, I think the Final Wars Godzilla might have been the strongest. I mean, he took a freaking asteroid to the face and didn't flinch. I have to destroy one more helicopter. Synth. 
the yaw. <laughs> so let's just get everything to 100. Let me destroy some of these helicop helicopters. Oh, what? That totally hit it. Destroying helicopters is my least favorite thing to do in this game. They're so annoying. Okay, all the helicopters are destroyed. Now to get the tanks, just so I can have... Oh yeah, I forgot. Godzilla 2014 doesn't have a height. He has a power because he's so big. He's like the biggest kaiju that they were literally like, this thing's too big. We can't make it get bigger. Ah, oh, dang it. So they were like, uh, just put a power level instead of a height level. Which I actually thought was smart because if, if they put a height level, they definitely were not gonna make this thing taller. He's already a hundred meters. Okay, so n now I'll actually do the gameplay. So... I feel like just so we can Yeah, let's do hard. Just so we can have like a full experience. Is it destroying trucks? Destroying trucks is my least favorite. I was talking about helicopters, but trucks and patrol cars are definitely my least favorite. Like patrol cars is better because you can see their blinking lights go off after you destroy a city and it's all foggy. You can just like look around through the ash and then you'll just see blinking lights and you'll be like, okay, there's one. But no, not with trucks. You have to go around in every single parking lot there is, just like walking over it, not even looking because they're too tiny, hoping that you find, <coughs> sorry, hoping that you find one. I don't think talking about like the game would be ranting because I meant like ranting about the movies. Like talking about how the bonus conditions are annoying isn't really ranting, is it? Wait, yeah it is, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I meant ranting like in the sense that I used. I meant like talking about the movies. I also don't like the data collection in the game. I mean, sure, if you want Kiryu, like, if you want to get all the kaiju, yeah, you should probably do something to make it so, like, you have to do something extra to get all the kaiju, which is what they did, because in order to get Kiryu, you have to have, like, 80% data collection. But... I think data collection wasn't a good way to implement it, like... Kaiju's destroyed and like, I know the disaster level is kind of like showing that you're more menacing, but I meant like killing Kaiju's and becoming like more menacing in the Kaiju realm and then the military will be like, okay, we can't count on the Kaiju's killing this thing. We're gonna have to send in Kiryu. That would seem like a cool thing to do not just collecting data. And then having the operator say the exact same thing like every time you're collecting data. Collecting data shows us more different like ways to battle. 
G Godzilla, which isn't true. It just gives you Kiryu. It's not more. It's just one thing. Well, if I could see, I would know, but instead I just saw my f chin. Aw, oh, he's a 100 meter class. What crap is it? When has Batra ever been a... Holy crap. Okay, 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 okay. That is a big Batra. That is a big Batra. Come on, I can do a 100 meter class at 60. I'm good enough to do this. I just have to keep pressing R2. Oh, 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 okay, it doesn't get knocked back enough. I have to get back here. Ah, uh, that did not hit in enough. <laughs> I like how it went from like Mecha Godzilla as being like a bath toy to freaking Batra who's the size of me. Like, Batra came back and he was like, what were you talking about me being a pawn? Bastra's just like here for revenge after I like nitpicked him in the game. Okay, yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna die. Back up. Up, oh, yep, no, I'm dead, I'm dead. At least now I can actually fight on a, um, 55 meter class? Yeah, because the first one's a 50 meter class. Oh, but I have to start it over. Okay. We have movement in the area. It's Godzilla. Attention all G4 squads. Commence the operation. I wish they would say something cool for like burning Godzilla. I mean, like whenever you invade as burning Godzilla. Like at the end they talk about it. But I mean like for like burning Godzilla and invade and then like 1964 Godzilla, they'll say like, this is the got this is the Godzilla from like 60 years ago. This isn't the one we've been fighting. And then for like Godzilla 2014, they're like, it looks like Godzilla, but it's not. And, and it would be like kind of Toho throwing shade at Godzilla 2014 like they did with Dad. This isn't ranting, this is just me giving like opinions on how the game would have been better. So, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I meant, I didn't mean to hit that thing. But like, as soon as like Godzilla 2014 came along, they were, they would be like, this thing is huge. It looks like Godzilla, but it clearly isn't. And that would be like Toho throwing shade saying how an American Godzilla could never be Godzilla. Which is weird because they literally went out of their way to make a Godzilla that wasn't actually Godzilla when making Shin Godzilla. But I, I wish they... Crap. I keep trying to roar, but then jets come by. I wish they could have added, like, other kaiju from the from movies, like Megalon. And I know most people don't like Zilla, but... I kind of would like it if they added... If they would have added Zilla. Like... There's not too many fast kaiju. All of the fast kaiju are like flying ones. So it would be cool if they could have like Zilla in there and he would be like a a fast ground kaiju. Because you know they're like the big ones like Godzilla 2014 and Destroya and Mech and not Mecha Godzilla and 
the King Ghidorah. But then there are also the small ones, which are like Mothra, Batra. I'm talking about the larvas, by the way. And then um, there could be Zilla, who's smaller than all the others, but he's also like the fastest one. Okay, here we go, back again at being a bath toy. Yet still being able to knock me off balance. I actually think that um, when fighting in this game, they should have also made it so that um, they should have also made it so that like if you're smaller, like if you were unlucky and you got like a 100 meter class or you're smaller than the other kaiju by maybe like 20, you weren't able to like stun them. I mean, sure, if you're like, unless you use like your circle attack while they're in the air, then that would stun them, like that would count. But not, I mean, just using your circle attack in general could stun them, like, a Godzilla's atomic breath would be able to stun this guy, because it would just be, like, shocking. I mean, it wouldn't hurt that bad, but it would be shocking enough for him to, like, get stunned. It shocked Destroya. Even though Destroyer was like unfazed by Burning Godzilla's attack, it still shocked him because he was like, oh, that's a strong attack. Hmm, I wasn't expecting that from this puny little thing that I almost killed. And now my dog's in here too. Nice. Okay. But here's um, a weird fact that I know. Did you know that Zilla, I mean, I'm actually gonna refer to him as Godzilla, the 1998 Godzilla. It was a female. It. And you know it reproduced asexually, and it laid the eggs. So you know that it's the female. It, you know that it is a female. And they're all females, because they have to lay the eggs. But... Godzilla, in that one, actually had rendered genitals. Like, if you go back to the scene where the guy, where Nick almost gets stomped, you can see them, they're like, they're small, but they're still there, like it's a fact that it's there. Which just leaves you wondering, why? Like in the com, and in a, in an interview with the, I think it was director, Jordan stopped chewing that, he mentions it, and just, why? Why Why go out of your way and make that? Like, it's just time and money to make something that very little people noticed. Jordan, stop it. But even then, it's, it's a, it's an, it's like an Easter egg. And it's not just to like get away from me ranting and 
to get away from me ranting and um, having the like opinions for the game, I'm gonna have a little trivia. So Jordan, stop that. <laughs> so did you know that Angerus's carapace in the original movie Godzilla not the original movie in the movie Godzilla Raids again in half of it his carapace is split because originally they wanted him to be like a ladybug and they wanted it to be like how their shell splits apart and then they fly I mean they didn't want him to fly they just wanted his carapace to split okay get out they wanted him to be like a beetle <laughs> but it ended up like flopping everywhere or something. I don't remember why, but they had to change it. And they had to go for the one part piece carapace as you know him today with. But there's still a scene in Godzilla Raids again where you can see his carapace split apart while he's fighting Godzilla. It's very minor, but you can see it as one of the Carapace is slightly one of the pieces slop to the, slops to the side and Also, I'm pretty sure in Godzilla vs. Gigan. Here's for the, our third trivia There was so many explosions That the Godzilla suit literally set on fire While they were making them all If you go and look through while Godzilla anger is I'm, while Godzilla and Angerus are fighting Gigan and King Ghidorah, you can actually see the carapace, I'm not carapace, you can actually see the Godzilla suit set on fire because how many explosions there were in that movie. Which leads you to wonder how hot was it in that suit? Like, it, it's hot in normal suits, but whenever you have explosions and fire going all around, and your suit literally catches on fire, how hot is that? It, like, I would gladly be, in, be a Godzilla, like, actor, like, be Godzilla, be in the suit, in any movie other than Godzilla vs. Gigan. Because... He just, <laughs> he sets on fire. <laughs> Who wants to set on fire, set themselves on fire to record a movie about Godzilla? So let's think. Um, I actually have a question about people not liking Titanosaurus Roar. I liked it, except you can clearly tell it's an elephant. I mean, you know it's an elephant, which sort of like gives it away. Like, but I don't understand why people hate Titanosaurus so much. He's a cool kaiju in my opinion, and that's another person who should have been in the game. They should have Titanosaurus in this game. But then, don't forget... I like that. I like how he does, like, the chest thing. But... <laughs> did you know... That, much like the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park... How it was the sound of mating tortoises there's another weird method that they got Godzilla's roar from in the original Godzilla movies he got his roar from them soaping up a leather um, not a leather a rubber glove and then rubbing it along the A string in the viol- I mean, the E string in the violin. So, 
imagine being paid to soap up a rubber glove and then sl like rub it against a violin. Like, that's something I wanna be paid for. <laughs> like being one of the sound design people for like the original Godzilla movies. And that's why um, ori originally the gods in Gojira, crap, again, sounds so different than the one in Godzilla versus King Kong. Because they had to do it every time. I think they eventually stopped and started like using voice, I mean, started using recordings of Godzilla's roar in Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. But still, that's a lot of movies of just, okay, stop it, Jordan, of just rubbing a rubber glove against a violin. Like, how much did that guy get paid? I mean, I know it probably wasn't, I, I know it was probably one of like the sound producers, so he was getting paid more, but how much did he get paid j just for making the Godzilla roar? I mean, it's sort of iconic. So, nope, 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 nope. Out of here. Okay. So let me think of other trivia. Let me think, let me think. I can't think of any more, so I'm just gonna ask another question. And this time it's about Godzilla Final Wars. Why did Anguirus walk like a drunk pig? He did, he like flailed his arm, like one arm in the air, held it there for a second, and then smacked it against the ground. And kept doing that to walk. <laughs> I mean, I think it's funny. And like every time I see the scene of the fat kid eating chocolate, playing with the Angerus toys and how he sees Angerus on TV, he's like, cool, it's the real Angerus. But it's, the scene is just so funny looking. Because of how Angerus looks and how he just like waddles along. <laughs> I mean, when I first saw it, I actually laughed. And I watched it with a friend. And I watched the movie. And I was just sitting there in awe of like, <laughs> they knew how Angerus was supposed to walk. They seen other movies they they had to have seen other Godzilla movies at one point so why does he walk so weird like Bob was drunk when he came to the set okay Bob we're only gonna take one shot at this so you better do good he was drunk he misinterpreted what he had to do and then he was like I'm gonna waddle <laughs> yeah it sounds about right And then they're like, Bob, we didn't want you to waddle. What made you think we wanted you to waddle? And then he was like, I don't know. It's, 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 I don't know. And they were like, okay, we, we don't actually care. To, we don't care, to be honest. J keep it in. Like, whose idea was it? to actually make Angerus waddle like that. I want to know because I'm sort of mad at them. Like that had to be like, someone had to mention it at one point besides me, how stupid Angerus looks. 
whenever he waddled. Not to mention, they sort of made Angerus look fat. Like, if you look at... Crap. Angerus from the Showa era, which is the only time besides in Final Wars that he's there, you will see that he has a very skinny neck compared to his body. But in Final Wars, they made it look like a goose neck, except short. They like squished, it's like they got a goose and then squished its head together. And it made this stubby little neck that was huge and thick. And it was like, it was like looking at a hog's neck. It has like no neck. Which then again, anger sort of looks like a pig in that movie. Like how I mentioned with his walking. So maybe that was intentional. Maybe maybe it was intentional. They wanted him to waddle like that because he sort of looked like a pig. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> but if anybody could explain to me what's with the neck and what, what do I need to destroy? I'm at 99. What's with the, oh. Oh wait, no, you don't even give me anything. What's with the neck and what's with the walking? I would be very happy if anyone could explain that to me. Because it's sort of confusing. Oh wait, I could have sworn stationary guns don't count. Like they don't give you any percentage. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> okay, let's destroy this gener- Oh my god, I'm face palming. I, you can't see me, but I'm face palming. That was the dumbest thing I have ever seen Godzilla do in this game. I clearly did not go after the tank. And Godzilla knew I did not go after the tank. Uh, sometimes it annoys me whenever I accidentally focus on to like a military thing whenever I'm trying to get the generator. Because a lot of the time it, I grew 12 time, 12 meters. Yeah, that's what happens whenever you get the um, fury up. Because I had like a 7.2 energy rate and your energy rate goes up with fury. And I got to like 52 fury, which is why I'm pretty sure this is a timed one. Which is why if you're playing this and you want to be so big that you get Burning Godzilla on like your first try. I got 12 in that one mission alone. I don't even think I need to get anything in this mission. I'm going to get it so I'm at 75 just because I feel like it. If you're new to this game and you like just got it and you're watching this to like kind of learn what to do, definitely get your energy rate up. It's your number one priority ev anytime you're playing with any kaiju. Just get that energy rate up and you will get to murdering Godzilla. My other thing to do is get Mothra Larva, which I'm pretty sure is the first defender that you get. Get Mothra Larva. Go into defend mode and you will get so many Kaiju. Like, as soon as you get Mothra Larva, just stop. Go into defend. And go the hard route or the easy route, depending on which one you haven't gone as Godzilla. 
and you will get so many kaiju, it's beautiful. Or any defender that you get first. There's Kiryu, Jet Jaguar, Mecha, Mecha King Ghidorah, Super Mecha Godzilla. There's, um, Mothra Adult and Mothra Larva, and I think those are the defenders. If you get any of those, any of the ones in the movies that are on the human side, as soon as you get that, you're going to want one of those, you're going to want to go into defend mode. Actually, the first defender you get, I'm pretty sure, is Jet Jaguar. Like the first defender if you're going after Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar is my third to last kaiju that I got. Then I got Destroyer and then I got Kiryu last night. Okay, so for Jet Jaguar, you want to... You want to get to, like... I did it with 50%. You can do 50 no, no, I did it with 53%. You want to get in between 50 and 60, never on 50 or 60. If it's on 50 or 60, it will not work. And sometimes it doesn't work because I tried this like 10 different times just to get Jet Jaguar. You want to get in between 50 and 60 with Godzilla, with Godzilla. No exception, you cannot do invade. 50 to 60 with Godzilla. And then you will instantly destroy the generator as fast as you can. Once you destroy the generator, you should get that you're picking up on a strong signal and Jet Jaguar will come. Once Jet Jaguar comes, you will fight him and get Jet Jaguar's circuit boards. You then go to stage four and it happens again, if you do it right. Go to stage seven and it happens again. And then if you do it all three of those times, you will get the trophy, our hero Jet Jaguar, which I got, but it deleted it out of my trophies list, which is annoying. And if I were lying, I would do it with like a better trophy, like the trophy literally called Godzilla, when you get all of the other trophies. If I were lying, I'd say that I had that one first. Oh crap, I thought it was in defense mode because this is always the one whenever I'm doing defend mode. So I was trying to protect King Ghidorah from destroying the generators. But then I realized, oh wait, no, I need to destroy the generators. Oh yeah, I can pick things up now. They're not too small. If you watch this, um, Put down in the comments what your favorite Toho Godzilla movie is. If you haven't seen any Toho Godzilla movies, put either 98 or 2014. And if you watch this after King of the Monsters, if you want to, you can put King of the Monsters. But if you have a Toho Godzilla movie, um, put that, put your favorite Toho Godzilla movie there. Okay, come on out, generator. Come on already. I have to, I am not destroying jets. I never destroy jets, they are so annoying. I destroyed jets on accident. 
Oh god, here's a squad coming in. I might as well kill some. I missed. Of course I did. Whenever I'm actually going to do it for like the first time, destroy jets. Nope. Miss. Okay. Two generators down. Come on, boy. And my old content used to be Fortnite. So if you're here from your inbox, I'm wanting Fortnite. No, I'm done with Fortnite. I don't like Fortnite anymore. Oh, come on. I have to fight Biolante and Tadora. Okay. Okay, okay. Fine. We have movement in the area. It's Godzilla. Uh. Attention all G <laughs> squads. Commence the operation at once. Commencing generator shutdown. Oh, come on. 300 seconds until shutdown. First squad, begin your assault. Let me at least get to 80 first. I have to get my energy rate up whenever I'm doing these timed ones. Otherwise, I will not get. Any energy rate. I mean, I will not get any power. Got over to it. Okay, okay. Now destroy the things. Good boy. Good laddie. Oh, and big shout out for Travius Prime for giving me the support on this video. Because this was going to be my last video. But he showed support and said that he liked the videos, so now I'm gonna make more. I mean, he or she, I can't really tell from the name. And I'm gonna check the channel out once this video is over, I promise. And I was actually watching King Kong vs. Godzilla with my uncle for St. Patrick's Day because we were all in my grandma and grandpa's house. And he just like, started nitpicking so much about it and it was hilarious and he he asked how I even got enjoyment out of the movies because they were so bad and I I said I don't know I don't know how I do like I don't know how most kaiju fans get their enjoyment out of it unless they like were alive whenever the first ones came out and then they're used to that stuff but I'm not. I was born in 2007. Um, I was born into like the world of CGI coming to life. So I've never, ever been like nostalgic for a Godzilla movie except the 1998 one because I mean I was six But another recommendation for anyone who just started the game. If, if you ever get to a level whenever there are two kaiju fighting you at once and they're not allies, like how I got unlucky with um, when I played as Gigan one time, I got unlucky and I got... Godzilla and Mothra, which I'm pretty sure was an homage to Final Wars, how they both fought Gigan. 
but they were actually fighting together for that. They were fighting together for that entire mission. I didn't even fight Hidora, but if they're kaiju that will fight against each other, like how one time I got Godzilla 2014, this is gonna be Super X, isn't it? I always hate Super X. Like, it, one time I got Godzilla 2014, and I think I also got, I think I also got, like, Mecha got Super Mecha Godzilla, maybe. They ended up fighting each other, which I was happy about because I literally just ran away as soon as Godzilla 2014 came close. And then eventually, Godzilla 2014 won, but he already had low health, so I was like, I'll use this to my advantage. So I killed Godzilla 2014 with like no problem. So in this game, you may want to like, in this, oh hey look, it's Godzilla. Wait, hang on, I'm gonna make Godzilla 2014 kill the Heisei Godzilla. So it's America killing <laughs> Japan. <laughs> and then stomp on his head. I destroyed his head because Super X pushed me into it. I tried to hit Super X with my tail, but just destroy, but just destroyed buildings. Like my grandpa was watching the Godzilla movies, and he grew up with he he watched some of the Godzilla movies whenever he was little. So he was happy to see whenever Godzilla showed up and he went there he is and he got way more entertainment out of it than my uncle did <laughs> my uncle was having fun making fun of it and then me and my grandpa were also playing along with it oh god what the f it's good for me how you Oh crap, this is a timed one. I forgot that this was a timed one. I'm gonna have to instantly just rush through. Why was it shaking like that? <laughs> destroy the generators, destroy the generators. I didn't even realize this was a timed one and it's a three generator one. Okay, one generator is down, but I don't know if I'll have enough time to do this. No, I definitely will not have enough time to do this. Yeah, no, no, I can't do this. God, I shot at Super X2. I'm gonna be lucky if I can even destroy this one. Bite, 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 bite. Oh, I didn't even get to destroy that one. All right. Yeah, okay, shut up. Continue. I hate the Super X's in this game. They're the most annoying pieces of crap ever. Especially Super X3. Because he, Super X3 and Gotengo are my least favorite units in this entire game. They run away and then come in and before you can even do an atomic breath, they'll hit you. And then the bad thing with the Gotengo is you can't tell if he's gonna use a Mazer or he's just gonna drill you. 
Because sometimes it's just a drill, and then I'll, I end up saving my atomic breath. Because if it was a mazer, it would always stop it before I could do it. And then sometimes, whenever I try to do it, and it's a mazer, I, I get completely shut down. Because Gotengo just, like, shoots the mazer, and he's like... He... It's like... It's like being told to go to your room for another sibling doing something. <laughs> it's just like the worst feeling ever. And a feeling that you know you could have, where you could have done something else and that wouldn't have happened, but it still happened anyway. I am such an idiot. I didn't realize that this did three damage to the generators. Okay, yeah, now, um, time to kill these annoying pieces of crap. But it does, like, nothing to kaiju and other things. Oh, thanks for moving back in front of me. You're just gonna get whacked by my tail as soon as I move. Oh, now you're not in front of... And then, like, some guy on the streets just runs out and bangs his head against Godzilla's toe. And it's like stepping on a Lego for Godzilla and he just, like, dies. You can never, like, be safe while using your atomic breath against Super X2. Ow. Because he has the, I forgot what the name of it was, but he shoots your atomic breath back at you. And it does a lot of damage, and it stuns you for so long. Okay, G God. He keeps going behind me. Okay, Super X is dead. Super X 2, we need to wait for that to close. And then my atomic breath. Oh wait, no, it doesn't close until you attack it. So I have to hit it like this. Oh, and then it closes. You just have to do another attack and then it'll close. Oh God! <laughs> Ow. Okay, now I have to destroy that thing just to make sure I don't die from that. I was keeping it alive just so I could get the extra temperature boost. Okay, Super X2 is almost dead. Ow. Why isn't Super X2 using his like, I'm pretty sure it was like a diamond thing. I'm pretty sure it was literally called something about a diamond. Okay, Super X2 is dead. Okay, now time for my worst enemy. Super X3, in my opinion, is worse than Gotengo. It's literally a remodeled Gotengo. Except Gotengo is a bigger target and easier to hit. Actually, 
while I'm fighting, I might as well get the destruction rate all the way up. Not to mention my fury. Ow. Thanks. No, don't shoot at that. Shoot at the... <sighs> because Super X3 isn't really a problem. Because he doesn't attack as nearly as much as Super X2 or Super X. Oh, hi there. He didn't even attack that time. Oh wait, no, he's coming back. And then I hit him on accident. I didn't even mean for that. You just walked into it, idiot. Oh, he shot missiles at me, but he missed. Okay, I'm getting my energy rate up. I just wanna get to like, I wanna maybe get to 90 in this. I probably not. My energy rate's at five. So it's five times the amount of power I would normally get. So I'm gonna hope I can get to 90. I mean, there's a slim chance. <sighs> that was close. That nearly could have made my fury end. And then stomp on the head, just so I can get my energy rate and stomp on the head like how I did before. I am not nearly going to have enough buildings to get to 90. I've never actually met another Godzilla fan who likes Godzilla 1998. Aside from my brother who's not like an actual Godzilla fan, I wouldn't count him as an actual Godzilla fan. I mean, he likes Godzilla, but he doesn't really like the movies. He doesn't like the old ones anyway. I told him like, he watched part of King Kong versus Godzilla but he didn't watch all of it by any standards. And um, if I were to be any kaiju, I'd probably be King Ghidorah. Like, I'd obviously choose middle head because that's like the head that is used the most. Okay, tanks. Where's a tank? There's a tank right here, right? No, that's a helicopter. I destroyed it anyway. Okay, these not moving thing, this has to be, that's, does that count as a tank? That better count as a tank, I want it to be a tank. Okay, it counted as a tank. Okay, now we have, <laughs> my least favorite buildings in the game, the tiny little green bridges that are on the roads, that count as like 1%, even though they're so tiny, you can't see them and you just like accidentally walk over like the first two. But then in the end, you're like left 
trying to f figure out where the last one is. I don't actually care. I already have the base for this. There's no point of me getting it. I mean, it wouldn't add that much to my pal- not- I don't need, like, point zero two to my power. And I've already gotten a hundred percent destruction rate, so it wouldn't give me a base. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is what I don't like about Super X3. I mean, he killed Destroya, and that's cool, but he, he stopped got Zilla from destroying the world, and that's cool, but he's boring. Like, he doesn't even really fight like how Super X and Super X2 do. There we go. But then the fog goes away once you win, and it's annoying because then you can see why are you, um, the thing that you didn't get. There's Kiryu. It better not be an emergency shutdown thing. It is, isn't it? The trick to this is destroying the generators, having the kaiju come, and then destroying the things while the ki other kaiju also gets the things. Oh, of course it's Go Tango. It's Go Tango and Kiryu. Okay. A little story for you is whenever I played this mission at first, I did not think to even remotely grow big. I didn't think it would make a difference because. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna destroy the generators. Like, Godzilla... Oh my god. Yeah, it's Gotengo. There we go. And now it's gonna show Kirio. I'm gonna watch this thing because I like the Kirio thing. Just because he just comes up and flies away. I don't even know if he, fl no, he doesn't fly away. He just like comes up on a stand. Okay, and here, so I was like a 70 meter class, but I was in this level. I don't even know how I had gotten rid of the Kaijus before it. I just know that I did. Somehow, I guess I was lucky. And then I was like a 70 meter class, and granted, I was still bad at the game, because I had just gotten started. Like, this was right after I finished the tutorial. I instant, God, I instantly went into God of Destruction mode. I, when I got to this Kiryu level, I was like, oh, the Gotengo. This was at the point where I didn't even have any of the Godzilla movies besides 2014 and 98. So I was like, oh, Kiryu, what's that? I saw Mecha Godzilla. I mean, which I now call Kiryu. And I was like, that's literally Super Mecha Godzilla. I literally thought it was Super Mecha Godzilla. And then I was like, why are you calling it something different? But then it was a 100 meter class. It wasn't even the 90 meter class. Which. Even now, I'd be fine fighting. Oh God, don't get rid of the Gotengo because he's gonna be my thing that lets me get all the buildings. No, don't get the Gotengo. Okay. The Gotengo keeps getting close to me. Okay, here you literally attack the Gotengo right there.
Okay, Kiryu's dead. Now time to destroy buildings. Is badly damaged. Yeet. So I got in and I just ran from Kiryu. I just ran like as fast as I could, destroying the generator. I destroyed the generators with Kiryu's help because for some reason the AI Kaiju do more damage to buildings than the Kaiju you're playing as does. So like if you get an AI Kaiju to just touch the generator, it'll do one of the things to it. And it was annoying because I realized this through Kiryu, but then I like instantly died to Kiryu as soon as I started to face it. So I destroyed the generators and then since this was my first time destroying the generators before killing the Kaiju, I thought that the level would just end. I did not realize that I would then have to fight the Kaiju still to win the level. I ran so fast, like away. I was not ready for that. I was not ready f for t to even fight a kaiju that was bigger than 80 meters because I was only a 70 meter class and I was still bad at it. Like now I've I've beat um when I beat Destroya, I was a 70 meter class and he was a 100 meter class and I beat him. But the thing is, I realized because in King of Kaiju mode in this video, I originally fought Destroya. No. I, no, it was in defend mode. It wasn't in this video. I was playing as Mothra. And I, I ended up fighting Destroya. I lost because it was 100 meter class again. And then I got King Ghidorah. So I then realized that the only way to get Destroya is to fight a 100 meter class. Which I thought was funny because. Okay, oh, come on. Don't get hit by the missiles. Okay, I didn't get hit by enough to get stunned. Come on, stop doing the mazer. I need you to try to do a drill. Oh, that's a mazer. That got it. Do, do, do. So I then ended up trying to fight Kiryu after that. And I failed so badly. I fought him, got down a quarter, and I was like, hey, this isn't that bad. And then I realized how much damage he had been doing to me overall. And... <laughs> I realized how much damage he'd been doing to me overall. And, oh my god, are you for... Oh, come on, I can't fight a hundred meter Godzilla. I'd realized how much damage he'd been doing to me overall. And once I turned red, and then I got hit once, I realized that this guy was like, so strong. Like, unbelievably strong for me because I had never fought anything like it before. So I got this guy to come out here and I was terrified as soon as it turned red yet yeah, 
I tried to think of a good word. I was like petrified. I saw that when I turned red, there was like no going back. I was gonna stay red. And it was very scary. Just like here, whenever there's a 100 meter class and you turn red, you are never gonna stop seeing that red. Oh my God, it's just a cycle of us shooting this. I don't think this will end. I think he, he's actually gonna die because my health regenerates. Yeah, shoot me. I get the temperature, I shoot you. <laughs> oh wait, hey, I got temperature there. Okay, now you shoot me. Nope, that's not what I meant. That's not what I wanted. That's not. Okay, now you shoot me. I said you shoot me. You shoot me. That's not shooting me. Okay, you're annoying. Hey, what do you know, America won? <laughs> this has almost been three hours, God. I mean, if it would have been like a finale for my channel, yeah, I guess that would make sense. But no, it's just one video because of Travius Prime. Oh wait, no, I wanna skip the credits. Godzilla 2014, Godzilla 2014. I just won. I'm not even gonna go onto the Burning Godzilla mission. Okay, that has been Godzilla Fun. Thank you, and goodbye after three hours. God, and this is a live stream. I'm not even gonna edit this. I don't edit my videos in general. Bye. <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to do more Godzilla videos, and I am actually going to start. This is gonna be a Godzilla channel. Yes, it will, okay. Let's, bye.